Lissa Productions. To this lecture, we're going to talk about something we call looking into circuits. By looking into circuits, we're sort of asking, we look into a pair of leads, what is the equivalent of what we're seeing? We can talk about an input or an output. So we'll talk about an input resistance and an output resistance. And the basic idea is that we have some circuit, it doesn't really matter what it is, it has some output, and so we probably think of it having an equivalent for the output, but there's also maybe some way to hook something up to it to put something in. I mean, put a voltage in it or a time-dependent voltage or something, but there's an input and an output. And we can talk about looking into either one of these. We can look into the output side. There's an output resistance. We can look into the input side. We'll talk about an input resistance. And let's start by just looking at the output side, because that's sort of what we've been thinking about. We, we know that in the output side, we can simply do a Thevenin equivalent with R Thevenin and V Thevenin, and there's the output. And the output resistance is just defined to be the Thevenin resistance there. That's how we define the output resistance. So if we can measure the Thevenin resistance, and we talked about how to do that earlier, then we have the output resistance of this particular circuit. So that's pretty straightforward. We're just looking into some circuit. It's the Thevenin equivalent, and we're interested in the Thevenin equivalent resistance for this. If we want to look into the input side, we're going to have to do something a little different. We'll have to take some sort of example. So on the input side, let's um, take something where I just have two resistors in series, R1 and R2. And I can even put an output on this. Let me just say that we're going to take the output eventually across R2. And we're going to talk about hooking up a voltage source to this and asking what the input looks like. What is the equivalent there? And you can sort of see it right now. We forget about the output. It's two resistors in series. So the input looks like a resistor. So if I hook up a some input voltage here, then the IV curve of this is simply the IV curve of R1 and R2 in series. The equivalent is some Rn, where Rn is R1 plus R2. It's the two resistors in series. We put some voltage here. There's some current, which is Vn divided by R1 plus R2. The circuit just looks like a resistor. So I could take this box here, and I could draw it on the input side as an equivalent, there's some Rn. And on the output side, there's some Thevenin voltage, an output resistance, and an output there. And you could imagine there's some input voltage, and we'd measure some output voltage. And the Thevenin voltage here is related to the input voltage. But this is essentially the box we have there, the input side just looks like some resistance, and the output side looks like a Thevenin equivalent. So let's look at this a little more carefully now. So let's clean some of this off, and then we will go and look more carefully at that particular circuit. So let's just look at this here. So let's just say we've hooked some input voltage up to our circuit. There's our two resistors in series, and here's the output. And the first thing we could ask, well, what is the output voltage? And if let's look at this here. We hook this circuit up. There's some current, I, that's going to flow through this. And that current is Vn over the total resistance, R1 plus R2, which is the input resistance. So it's Vn over Rn. And if we want the output voltage, we know that current I is flowing through that resistor. So the output voltage has to be that current I times the resistor, R2, which is simply going to be the input voltage times R2. So it's the input voltage times a ratio of R2 over the total resistance. This particular circuit here has a special name. It's known as a voltage divider. And pretty much everything that we do in this course can be reduced down to something very similar to a voltage divider. So an expression that we'll use a lot is we'll simply say we've got some circuit. We'll say it's just a voltage divider. And if it's just a voltage divider, then we know the output voltage is the ratio of this resistance over the total times the input voltage. And another way of writing that is 
V out over V in equals R2. And that is a very useful expression simply to memorize. It's the voltage divider equation. The ratio of the output to the input voltage is that particular ratio of resistors for this circuit. So let's keep going here. We've talked about this a little bit. So for this particular circuit, we know the output voltage is that ratio. We also know the input resistance, the equivalent input resistance seen looking into here was just R1 plus R2. You can now ask, what is the output resistance of this? And so that, now we say, well, that has to have some equiv have an equivalent with R out. And we can talk about measuring that. So if we measure the open circuit voltage, that's V thevenin. Well, that's just the output voltage. So V thevenin is simply V in times R2 over R1 plus R2. So there's the thevenin voltage for the voltage divider. What about the output resistance? Well, what we can do is we can do this circuit to be perfectly reasonable to short circuit it. We could connect a wire here to produce some short circuit current. And that short circuit current is just going to be the input voltage now divided by only the single resistor R1 because we've shorted out R2. So there's the short circuit current. And we know that the R thevenin is V thevenin over I short circuit. We have V thevenin here. It's V, this is going to be Vn R2. R1 plus R2 divided by, that's Vn over R1. The Vn's go away, the R1 comes up on top. And we're going to get R1 R2 over R1 plus R2 is the Thevenin equivalent. So let's go ahead and write that down here. We've got R out equals R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. And that also, if you think about it for a second, is just the parallel combination of those two resistors. So R1 parallel to R2. So this voltage divider circuit is an interesting circuit. It has an input. Look into it. The input resistance is just the sum of the two resistors. It looks like a resistor who's that sum. Look into the output side. There's an output resistor that looks like those two in parallel. They aren't the same. The input resistance and the output resistance are not the same. They're almost never the same. They're going to be something different. It's just what is the, if the input is what the circuit does to something driving it. The output is what this does to something following it in the circuit. And those things char completely characterize what's going on here. So input resistance, output resistance, and the Thevenin voltage here. And for the voltage divider, which is a very important circuit, input is simply the two in series, output is the two in parallel, and the Thevenin voltage is just this voltage divider circuit here. Okay, so that's looking into circuits, input and output resistance. And this idea of input and output is very important. It's going to come back, and we really need to understand that. So we look at it from this simple example here.